So uh, it's uh, December 2020. I've run two kilometers and I'm just doing an easy 7K run today. So last couple of weeks have been pretty good. I've been able to do 25K per week, which is of course not much in the big picture, but coming back from an injury for me, it's really nice to be able to get through those two weeks of 25K. And this week I'm aiming for 30K. So just slowly building back up again. It hasn't been snowing much. It's pretty mild, even though it's pretty horrible still. And so I've been able to run without too much problems. I'm definitely not a fan of uh, winter, <laughs> but well, I, I don't know what to say after that, but I'm just not a fan, but <laughs> I still got to do the training. <laughs> You know, I no, nothing's gonna stop me from from doing my training. So let's take a look at my training plan for the next year and see how I plan to build back up again after injury and what kind of goals I have for the new year. All right, so we're in the office and we're in Excel and we're gonna have a look at my training plan for 2021. It's gonna be an exciting year. I don't want to bore you with all the details, of course. So if you want to look at the details, you could at any time just pause the video and look at the details. But I will show you the general gist of it and my general plan for the year. So um, I'm going to bring it all the way down to the bottom here. and We're just going to look at this last line here first. In 2022, I want to run 100 to 120 build up to 120k per week with quality. There's a little bit of Norwegian in here. That's why it sort of looks weird sometimes. But um, I want some seriously high quality training in 2022. In order to do that, I've got to follow this plan. This will bring me safely to 2022. Okay. And I say safely because 2020 was a difficult year for me. I build up to 100k per week good training in 2019 then i had to take a break for health reasons and then i started up in 2020 again and i i got injured twice okay i'm, I'm still struggling with the latest injury so this um year of training this 2021 year is going to be all about gradually building up and not taking any chances i want it to be super conservative as long as I know that I'll arrive at 2022 and be able to train like I just said, I'm happy. So hopefully this will do the trick. Um, let's talk about it a little bit. So there's the month there on the left. There's the calendar week. There's the date of the Monday. Macrocycle, mesocycle. This is kilometers per week. This is frequency, how many runs per week. This is the distance of the long run in kilometers. The main focus of the phase the key workouts of the phase of each week, um, racing or races and some comments. We'll get to that. First macro cycle is just rehab, just, just getting back to a decent uh, situation, you know, with, without pain and stuff. So first meso cycle then was just all easy running, nothing hard, nothing fast just gradually building, right? You can see here it's very gradual, goes up to 25, stays there for another week, goes up to 30, then goes back down to 25 again, up to 30 again, etc. So it's up, down, up, stay the same for a while, go down again, go further. And it's sort of this gradual build rather than a just, rather than having a, like a steady line, just constantly growing. It's, it's more of like reaching a plateau, stabilizing, recovering a little bit, going back up or going further. Um, same with the long runs. They're just gradually building in, in length. And for me, all of this is like not much training compared to what I've been used to in the past. Um, but I'm just having to take it back to basics and go from scratch, unfortunately, due to the injury. But that's okay. Um, because while I'm doing this, I'm doing also this, which is four to six hours a week of cross training. We're talking biking, swimming, aqua jogging, elliptical, skiing, 
anything that can get my cardio going and that can give me fitness benefits without uh, costing too much in terms of the structural system, in terms of my legs. Um, it's easy on the legs. So I'm doing that. So I'm getting used to a lot of training. I'm, I'm, I'm getting fit even though I'm not running as much as in the past. I'm actually training per hour, in terms of hours. I'm training as much or even more that I've, than I've ever done actually and I will in 2021. I'm also doing a lot of supplemental training like strength training, mobility, self-massage, um, all kind of little things, rehab stuff now that I'm injured. Just I'm doing all the little things. I'm doing all the good things and hopefully that will sort of take me through the year, arrive at 2022 with a solid foundation, just feel, just with a strong body that can handle a lot of training. Uh, I'm patient and I need to be patient in order to achieve this. After a big rehab, well, after the easy phase, I'm microdosing quality. And what I mean by that is that I don't want to just suddenly say like, okay, I'm ready for workouts now. Let's do, you know, five times a thousand meters at whatever pace. So I'm starting out with like a ridiculously small, ridiculously small workouts, like one kilometer at marathon pace, one M and one long run. That's the, that's all I'm doing for that week. In addition to, to the long, uh, to the easy runs. Um, so basically just slowly, slowly, slowly building to more. So this week, that's this week here where we built up to 40 K per week. I'm doing a 30 K long, 13 K long run, and I'm doing two times one kilometer at marathon pace. Okay. So, okay. Two, that's more than one. And then et cetera, it'll build from there in terms of volume and, and pace. And then I'll just do a, just for fun, just to change it up a little bit. I'll do a little bit of a build up before a 10k race that may or may not happen a um, few decent workouts there uh, and just actually getting in uh, a sort of a build up but i'm not focusing on racing this year i'm focusing on on just getting strong for 2022 um, by the way if you're interested in coaching i can build a plan like this for you and i mean i spent 10 hours probably on this plan it looks pretty simple but what takes time is actually all the consideration that goes into considering you know okay so this week goes up to 40 that means my body has more load to handle so we'll take it down to just doing a long run this week and we won't do the marathon pace and then next week of 40 the body has adjusted a little bit we can add back in the the marathon pace etc so that's what takes time but these are just, you know, this is just an outline. The actual details of my plan, like from day to day, are in a different place, in a calendar sort of plan. Um, and I, I offer coaching and the link is in the description. And if you do that, you'll get a cycle plan like this. And you'll also get an interactive calendar plan where all the details are and where we can comment back and forth and stuff. And I, if you book it by the end of January, you'll get 20% off the first three months of coaching, by the way. So check that out. Um, so just to understand the, the letters here, this is Jack Daniels type pacing. So M is marathon pace, L is long run, uh, T is a threshold, uh, S is strides. Down here we got I, that's interval, RP, that's race pace, um, etc. So just building up slowly, getting used to, to, to some higher intensities and getting ready for this race. But again, it's not a priority. My priority is in consistency, just getting consistent throughout the year, building up, building up, building up. Um, then, yeah, I'll depend. Maybe I'll do a half marathon in this air period here. I'll just stay at like 60 K per week, 20 K long run. And then after that, July, August, September down here, um, I'll go from 70 to 80 K per week build up some volume again, 20 to 25 K long runs. Maybe I'll do a triathlon. That's why it says try. Triathlon will be fun to try. I've been swimming a little bit and before the lockdown and um, biking a lot. October, November, December, nine to 200 K, 25 K long run. And um, so no marathon this year, but just, just getting in decent, steady, consistent training. That's my goal for this year. So that's really the plan. I could probably talk a lot more. That's like a super, super short little recap, but I don't want to bore you with too many details. So check out my coaching link in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think about my plan, but also let me know what you think about my editing at the beginning of this video where I was uh, 
trying out to be a little fancy with my filming and stuff. I, I, I think I want to try and upgrade my, my game here on YouTube a little bit. So that's an attempt at that. So let me know in the comments if, if, if you liked it and if you want more of that. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, have an awesome day. Bye.